Today I'm going to show you how we can use an aseptic technique to inoculate an agar plate with uh, a bacteria that is in um, a solution or a, in a broth. Um, so importantly, aseptic means without sepsis, without sepsis. So in other words, without infection, uh, without microbes. So we want to try and purely grow this bacteria, E. coli, and not have it contaminated with any other microbes. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we're wearing gloves, an apron, a mask, this is to make sure that we don't actually put any contaminants from our body onto the agar plate. The next thing we're going to do is wipe down the surface with um, some sort of cleaner. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to label our agar plate with today's date, uh, my name, and the bacteria that we're going to inoculate the plate with. It's important to use to the bottom part of the plate, just in case the top part or the, the lid of the plate could actually get mixed up and swapped around. Now, so now we're re about ready for our technique. So we're going to inoculate our plate with a metal loop. Now the metal loop, we can flame in the, in the Bunsen burner flame. This is going to kill any bacteria that are on the, the Bunsen, uh, on the loop. Now also we've got our broth, uh, our bacteria in a broth. It's in a glass jar. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to flame our loop. We're actually going to make the loop red hot. So it's actually going to glow red hot all the way to the end of the loop and back. Then we're going to allow that to cool down, but we're not going to put it down anywhere. I'm going to hold it just in my fingers here. Now, when we, um, when we open up our jar, I'm going to hold it just in my, my little pinky. And then we're going to also pass the neck of the jar through the flame as well. Now, we're going to put our loop inside the broth and take it out and we'll flame the loop, the, the jar again, and then put the lid on, and then we put this out of the way. Now we're ready to inoculate our plate. Now, so what we're going to do is a 16 streak dilution. So firstly, we want to, just in one section here, we're going to spread the primary inoculant, and then we're going to do 16 streaks across the plate. So four, and then we turn the plate, and then another four. Another turn, so we've done eight so far. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to dilute the plate, uh, dilute the bacteria, so that by the end of it, we have got single colonies of our bacteria, E. coli. So we've done a 16 streak dilution. Now, finally, we need to flame our loop again until it's glowing red. Now we can put that away. The only last thing we need to do before we put our plate in the incubator is we need to actually secure uh, using the, the parafilm, we need to wrap the plate in the parafilm so that no microbes are able to get into it. Okay, we've already labelled it and we just stretch the parafilm around it and that's ready to go in the incubator uh, for 48 hours until we're ready to test the bacteria.